tell I'm a little bit sick I've been sick for about a week now I know it's been a little while since I did a video but um, that's part of the reason uh, the other reason is I really haven't done much in the garage uh, as you can see behind me I did build my wife a coffee table that she uh, requested and I have to make two more matching tables one as a TV stand and the other as a end table but I did get that done and uh, I still have to paint it and stain the, the top but other than that it's pretty much ready to go um, we're in the middle of a warm spell so I got the carburetor off the H and I brought it over to Rudy's and we sandblasted it, we cleaned everything inside and out so now it's like brand new, ready to go. I also found that the float was a little bit crushed on the sides so I'm guessing they there was a, at some point some water in the bowl of the carburetor and it froze and it crushed those those sides of that float and that probably contributed to uh, to the problems we were having but hopefully that's good to go now I got a new gasket for the uh, carburetor to intake manifold so that should be good so we're gonna throw that on um, before I hook up the fuel line I'm gonna take that off and bring it up here blow it out with the air compressor and uh, empty out the um, the sediment bowl, take the screen, make sure everything's clean inside there and uh, unfortunately I can't bring compressed air back there to blow up through the inlet but I'll crack it just to, to let some fuel flow come through there I'll probably bring back my my little wire that I use for poking this here and poke up through there so I and um, yeah uh, try to make the the best of what I've done so far so um, I guess let's go back there and uh, oh real quick I did uh, while I was over at Rudy's taking care of that carburetor we got to talking and you know his his main business is make needles but he also does carburetors and he asked me if I'd be interested in helping him out with with his carburetors since he's so busy with magnetos he doesn't uh, he's been getting kind of behind on the carburetors and I said sure so yesterday and the day before I went over there and I did four carburetors for him and I started on a fifth and he's already got two more lined up for me so if you guys have carburetors that need rebuilt or or know people that need carburetors rebuilt, send them to Rudy's and they'll get rebuilt by yours truly. So, um, yeah. Other than that, let's uh, let's head to the backyard and we'll start putting this thing back together and see what we can do for getting it to run right. All right, guys. Well, we pulled the uh, the sediment bowl off and looks dirty from the outside. And there's a little bit of rust on the inside. The uh, the sediment screen isn't too bad, but I want to show you here what I've got. When I open the the fuel valve. See how it only trickles out of here? I think that's part of my problem. So that sediment bowl needs to be pulled off the tank. 
and in order to do that I gotta I mean I could pull it off the bottom but I don't have a plug for this part of the for this outlet on the tank so I got I don't know at least probably four gallons of fuel in there so I should take the tank off or at least turn it on its side and um, yeah this is a little bit bigger deal than I have time for today because these studs are too long to get the tank up without pulling the, the steering shaft at least up and there's two ways I can do that the first way would be to separate the two halves and then slide the shaft back and up or I could take these three bolts out and lift the whole pedestal up but in order to do that I gotta take the hydraulic control rod off and all my wires have got to be removed from the uh, their anchor points and made sure that I can move them freely uh, I'll probably have to disconnect the battery so the easier way to do it might be to drive this steering shaft back and I also would have to disconnect the throttle linkage so that's probably the way I'm gonna have to attack it but let's get the carburetor on and go from there all right, before I start on this carburetor, I wanted to point something out to you guys. There's, see this, this is the end of the throttle shaft and that notch right here. You can see it between uh, those two uh, casting or machined pieces. There's a notch right there and that has to get lined up with the tang that sticks out here on the governor arm. If that isn't lined up, it's never gonna run properly. You'll either get on, what happens is, you'll get that tang on, you know, the top side of that machine part, and it'll run wide open all the time, or half throttled or wide open, or you'll get it on the bottom side, and it won't come off idle. So that's a common problem that a lot of people, you know, common mistake that a lot of people have is they don't get it lined up. That tang with that notch in the carburetor throttle butterfly or the throttle shaft. So make sure you have that lined up. The way I usually do it is I'll connect it to the, uh, the governor tube first. And then I'll bolt it up to the manifold. So, and speaking of which, I realized I forgot my bolts. So I got to go back up there and grab my bolts. And uh, then I'll come back and we'll finish this. Okay, guys. Well, I cleaned out the bowl. I scrubbed the fuel line. Look at that nice copper fuel line. Scrubbed that in my little bucket of diesel fuel. Blew it out from both ways. And then I took, I had a small wire my uh my little my poker wire was too thick so i grabbed some smaller wire and i went up through the inlet here and a whole bunch of crud came falling out so that inlet was partially plugged i got a good fuel flow through there now that's what i pulled out of that inlet just a couple of chunks here but this one was pretty much solid rust and dirt so that'll that'll get us by till spring anyways when I can take the tank off I mean it's pretty warm today but I don't have I don't have time so I gotta help my wife make some cookies <laughs> but um, that should get us by I know that the tank is fairly clean on the inside so I'm guessing it's probably just residual dirt from open and closing that know the the fuel filler so or the fuel cap but let's get the carburetor on and uh, we'll see what it does all right hopefully it runs like a champ so 
let me see I don't know if I can get a good angle here and I don't have let's see I got two bars of battery see if you guys can see probably not yeah that's not very good I don't have a very good angle to Unless I can do it underneath. Maybe I can do it underneath here. My hands will be in the way, but at least you'll get to see what I'm doing. tricky part is getting that butterfly lined up but once that's lined up it's pretty much uh, smooth sailing Easy way to test it is just operate the throttle lever. So drop my bolts in. Yeah, this, this sickness, man, is a, quite the lingerer. no good way to get to this back bolt that's probably the the second hardest one it's kind of like got to do everything by feel here so Everything up there, good and snug. Now hopefully this thing runs even better than before. Let's see, maybe if I, I'm going to tighten the back one first.
there's just no good way to get to that one. Well, let me get these bolts tight. I just want to try to save some battery. Essentially, I'm just trying to get the the two manifold to in uh, carburetor bolts tight, and then I'll tighten the two governor tube bolts. So, let me get this thing together. All right. Well, moment of truth. Let's see what happens here. Turn the fuel on. see any big chunks in the sediment bowl so that's good now it's been it's been uh, well quite a while since we've started this thing so hopefully the battery's got juice in it sitting out in the cold like this
darn good. I think with a good uh, fuel tank cleaning and probably adjust the valves again in the spring just to make sure they're in spec, probably run great. for Rudy we'll take care of you so it actually runs really good now that it's somewhat warmed up so I'm gonna turn the fuel off and that's gonna be it for this video thanks for watching and thanks for watching